Okay, the victorious head baseball coach of the Hurricanes this afternoon, Ron Frazier. Victory number 50 on the year, coach. And I know that's important, especially when the folks who start issuing the regional bids uh, start counting up the victories. That number 50 is an important one, isn't it? Well, it is. It's almost like the uh, that's where you have to go, you know, to, to, uh, to really get considered. Uh, we do have quite a few ball games left, and of course we feel like, uh, you know, that we're going to do quite well in the ball games. But getting 50 gets you sort of over the hump, and and uh, you know after that it's uh, just putting icing on the cake as far as I think, as far as the regionals are concerned. And it's important to pick up the victories against people like New Orleans, who are independents and who are also vying for those uh, bids, just like the independent Hurricanes are. That's true. Uh, New Orleans, you know, they've got a good ball club. Uh, you saw the ball game out here today, and, you know, we didn't uh, uh, put on a lot of offense, but but not to take anything away from their pitcher. He, he did a good job, and, uh, you know, Carr hit the double, and Artillis hit the double, Shields hit the home run. But other than that, our output wasn't that much, but we did take advantage of a couple mistakes that they made on pop-ups into the sun. So, uh, you know, you got to feel pretty good about that, that we make that we take advantage of their mistakes. And I thought Bauer pitched a good ball game. It's the first real good one in a long time for him. Smith looked well coming in as well. Yes, Danny has, has struggled up and down, and he came out and he had it, you know, he stopped them cold. And, uh, you know, we got to have that to win. Okay, we're down in the home stretch now. 15 games remaining in the regular season. Still, a couple of things have not been shored up. Number one, a DH, possibly a left fielder, and even uh, the number three pitcher. How are things going? Well, we're, we're struggling every day with that. It's amazing that we've gone through as many games as we've gone through and, uh, and have not been settled on a lineup. Uh, it's true, we're still looking for a DH. Uh, and and uh, Steve Lusby coming out, that would be great because, uh, you know, maybe Steve a DH for us or play first base, and that would bring another DH because we'd have to put Artillis in the outfield. So it's still kind of confusing. Uh, that would be a nice complication if Steve did come back, and we're hoping he does in the next two weeks. But uh, we're just going to have to keep fooling with it and put the guy that's the hottest out there. Okay, it was about a year ago this time when the Hurricanes started to get hot up in that trip up at South Alabama, sort of set the tone for the regionals. Are you looking for that offensive power to start coming around next week and at least this week as the South Alabama trip approaches? Yeah, we're getting, you know, towards the end of the season, like you said, and I think that, that offensively we've, start, we've got to start breaking out. We've got to start, you know, having a better output offensively. Now, we, we've been kind of sporadic, and we've had a couple ball games where we scored a lot of runs. Thursday night we hit the ball real well. Last night we hit the ball real well, and um, Friday night their pitcher did a good job, but we had opportunities. We didn't come through. Today our offense wasn't that good, but we still, you know, managed to get the key hits and, and win the ball game. Okay, one final question. You had the parachutists come in here before the game. One guy didn't make it in the field. Did you charge him to get in, Coach? Well, I'll tell you the truth. To be honest with you, he came so close to making the field, I only charged him half price. <laughs> okay, head coach Ron Frazier, victory number 50. Back upstairs.